So James, your thoughts on today's game? Ah, we're disappointed in, in obviously the result, um, but it's been a hard few days for the boys and um, everybody about the club, but um, I asked the boys just to get and give me everything and I thought they did that. Um, obviously, decisions went against us today, it's, we're on a bad wee run, but we need to try and pick ourselves up and try and get to that. And like you said, it's the fifth defeat, league defeat in a row uh, on what has been a difficult week for the club. Ah, it's not it's no a great run we're on, um, we take ourselves back to when we were flying and we're unbeaten in nine, that's gone now, we need to try and pick ourselves up and get out of this bad run, um, but I thought the day the boys worked so hard and um, if decisions didn't go against us today I thought maybe got something to the game, but we come away from it with nothing so we just need to pick ourselves up and go again. And we did have the ball in the back of the net through Dylan Beakey, would you just describe your thoughts on I on just one? listen to the boys coming off, even the fourth up players saying it was never a handball, but that suited my hands, it suited the players' hands. The referee made the decision and that's the decision they went when did they get it right or not, I don't know. And uh, of course we had more chances in the second half, uh, a great chance for D Dale Carrick to get an equaliser but just put it straight past the post. Aye, that's the wee chances when we were done, done losing that kind of losing the games, we need to kind of put the chances away but um, I thought overall the boys worked so hard for me and um, they tried and just fell short a wee bit. And uh, you gave Leo Watson a start today? Uh, I thought Leo was brilliant today, um, gave him a start and he worked hard and just said go enjoy it and he was up against a good pro. Um, experienced player and I thought he dealt with him well and he's got to um, take confidence for it. And Dylan Beakey and Nathan Farrigan both made an impact when they came on? Aye, both subs, that's what I said to the boys, everybody's playing for their future now. If it's a new manager comes in, we need to try and show there could be eyes here today, so just everybody has to work hard, even boys coming off the bench, I thought they were great, so we just need to pick ourselves up and see what happens. And unfortunately for the second goal, it was one of the ones we were pushing to try and get that equaliser and Fulford just got us on the break. Aye, we were obviously through everything forward and that's the gamble we take. Um, we're getting beat one now anyway, so put everybody forward and they hit us on the break and um, that's these things happen. So we've dropped down to six today, but we're still in the mix with the playoffs. It's it's really close between four, third, four, fifth and sixth and now it, it seems like it's going to be quite a, a few horse race until the end of the season now for the playoffs. It's going to be like that in this league. Um, anybody can beat anybody and if you win one or two games you're up there. You lose three, four, five games, you're, you're back down there. So we just need to um, try and dust ourselves down and go again. And uh, back to home next week against Annan, and then of course Elgin uh, on Tuesday night, the following just before Christmas. How good would it be to, to go back home to Fourth Bank and get two wins at home? That'd be great. Looking forward to it to go back to home and we need to try and get three points and put a performance on for the fans. And uh, would you encourage the fans to come out on the just before the last two home games of, of the year as well. Oh I um, I, have, I think we need everybody behind us and try and get everybody, even the fans, to get us out this week in a bad run we're on and we need all the support we can so hopefully they came out in their numbers and support us. Thanks very much James. Cheers Ben.